Welcome back everybody, Kathy Arbor here. Welcome to my studio. And we're gonna do some simple daffodil, very loose, just a single one, just to show you that it's just, it doesn't have to be intricate. It could be very loose and depending on um, what I do, I might put some line work in it, we'll see. So I want a warm color. So I'm going to use this, um, what is this one? This one is Naples Yellow Medium. It's a really nice, warm, it's, it's a, a little bit on the orangey side. So I'm going to have some of that. And I'm going to also have a little bit, hmm, let's see. I like this yellow here. And this one is, let's see. Uh, cad lemon I'm just gonna put it over here and it's a, it is uh, more on the cool side so we can actually mix a little bit of that uh, warm yellow with that to warm it up a little bit and I'm gonna use a lot of water on my brush so I'm gonna give this a very loose application and you can leave some whites also. And we'll go back in and put in a few darker shades. And if you find you've put a little bit too much and didn't leave any um, highlights, we can always go back in with some gouache. So I'm, I'm basically doing a lot of streaks because I know the daffodil has quite a bit of uh, streaking. And this is just sketchbook paper. Okay, so now I'm going to take that nice warm Prime, was it uh, Naples yellow? No, it's not Naples yellow. It's primary yellow. And we'll just add more along the bottom parts. because That would be the darker areas. So around that center air, um, part of the daffodil. And again, I'm just streaking it on. So just play, you could do a few of these, draw them out. You could print them out if you wanted to do a bunch of them to practice, which is always a good idea. Because no one, if once you're starting out, no one does this right off the bat. It takes practice. And even if you're a um, established watercolorist, sometimes it still takes practice. Now I'm going to add a little bit of, let's see, raw sienna, I think. I want a little bit warmer, and I'm going to mix it in that primary yellow we have here, just to darken it. And we'll put a few streaks in here, maybe even a little darker. And just a few. And this is kind of a fold over of a petal, so it'll be a little bit darker in there. And then just a few streaks in here along the edge. And right in here, again, along the edge. Or if you see areas where you would have a shadow from it being um, overlaid from another petal, you could put a little bit of that in there too with this. They're all different, so just play with it. Have some fun with it. Maybe you have a little bit 
along the edge here. Maybe it's folding over. This might be a little bit darker because it's on the bottom. All right, and then I'm gonna put a really warm center in here and it's gonna be fairly dark. So I think I'm going to use, let's see, um, I think this earth color mixed with that yellow. So we're going to add that, a little bit of that yellow again. And this is going to be right in the center here. Now, I'm going to paint around some of these stamens because I want those stamens to be a really fairly bright color. And this has kind of a a dark, fairly dark center in here. And there's all these folds too. And these folds would have shadows also. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to dirty it up a little bit with this mix here and just add a little bit more color so it would be fairly dark in here actually i'm going to get a little bit more maybe add a little green to that to really muddy it up yeah and this will be the shadow cast by this center trumpet so it would be casting quite a bit of a shadow because it's fairly big it's not one of the flat ones and you always have those uh, little bits of deep crevices from the folds or veins in the flower so you can put some of those in I want it really dark along here though, because it would be dark. And a few in here. Even this fold here would be a little bit on the darker side and remember your plant your paints will dry a little bit lighter let's put some of that in the very deep crevices here more in the center area where it would be really dark like that and if you want you can always um, take a wet brush and smooth out some of those if you want so they're not so uh, rough or hard edged. Okay, like that. And then um, we want a really dark area for the stem. So I'm going to take a little bit of this red again, or purple. Some of this green really a nice dark and it would be fairly dark under here this is the stem i'm going to bring it down and then i'm going to add some of this really gorgeous color here And I'm not worried about whether it's the proper size or um, how many petals or, you know, 
this is just a practice and I want to experiment with my brushes and water. Let's put a little yellow in there. it's wet just mix it up see what you can do with it it's, it's a lot of fun maybe some yellow on the tip of this that would be a new bud starting to open and then I'm going to take this yellow again and go back over some of this here. And I'm just going to paint yellow over top of this to brighten it up a little bit. And then we can take color pencils or whatever. Let's put some stamens in here. A little bit brighter there and maybe a little bit on the orangey side right in here I want to leave the edge a little bit lighter though, okay? And some really dark darks, so maybe a little bit of brown on there, or a fairly dark color, maybe even black in there. It's almost a reddish dark color. Right in the center here where it gets really dark. Okay, let's dry that and then we'll be right back. All right, so we have it all nice and dry here. So now it's time you can go back in and uh, darken some areas if you want. So I'm going to darken the center. That will be the darkest area. So I'm looking at my uh, colors here. And I'm going to take this brilliant violet. And I'm going to add some blue to that. So nice dark blue and that will give me a purple and then I'm gonna put in some brown with that so I want it fairly dark almost on the uh, black side very very dark. It's a little bit on the on uh, the reddish side, but it, it's a good and dark. So I'm just I've got a number uh, four here, and we'll just uh, put in some of these finer uh, detailed areas in here that were fairly dark. So with a, a nice thin, nice point brush, we'll just add some of these real dark darks and I'm, I'm remembering where my stamens and stuff are so we want to keep those we don't want to lose them too much do want it fairly dark and then add a little bit of water to that mix lighten it up a little bit and as you go go out into this um, area you want to just have a little less pigment on it but you still want kind of that
dark color. And I'm trying to remember where my little bits of stamens are in here. So I want to keep those. And we may have to put a little bit of uh, gouache on here too to brighten that up just a touch. That and you can look around, see if we need anything else that's dark. Uh, I think I'll put a little bit of this color here that we used on this part, just darken some of those areas around the edges of the trumpet, just to give that a little bit more definition. So it doesn't have to be a whole lot would be darker in there this darker area because you're getting the shadow from the trumpet it's a little darker closer to the trumpet and then it fades out a little bit as you go into the, the pedal okay you know, it pops that petal out a little bit. And just around the edge here, probably put a little bit of that in there. Just so that it uh, makes the trumpet show up a little bit nicer. That. Uh, areas that might need it. Uh, let's see, maybe a little bit more in here. Wherever you have any crossing of petals would be darker. There. Um, we're going to add a little bit of white to this area here too. All right, so let's get out. All right, I have some white gouache here and we're going to put some highlights on. So I want the highlights along the edge here of the trumpet. You got to make sure you have enough water consistency. Just a bit. that water in here
All right. That looks pretty good. on here. I'm going to mix some, um, let's see, I want a fairly goldy yellow. So I'm mixing some this gold color. to do the stamens a little bit brighter on the ends. Now they will um, fade slightly. Like that. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So we'll let that dry, and then we'll put on a nice back wrap. Okay, so now I'm going to just wet, kind of um, messy, just with plain water. And then I'm going to take some of this green mix that I have on my palette here. And just kind of a uh, very loose application of color here. Very, very, very uh, light. I don't want it too dark. Put some of this yellow on the outskirts here. just to tie it in a little bit and then bring in some of this green here and there Oop. Very loose. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to splatter. And with that ochre color, put some in here. You want your um, paint fairly watered down. Even big blotches look nice. Let's put some big blotches in here of this color. All right, and we'll let that dry and see what we get. All right, so it's nice and dry. So let's do a little bit of pen work. I always like pen work. So I'm just going to uh, more or less concentrate on the um, darker areas, the shaded areas, that type of thing, just to give it a little more um, definition. So it's uh, a little bit more noticeable. So 
these stamens can be outlined a little bit. goes into the center, it would be fairly dark in there. Like so, and even darker, um, the areas down in here would be fairly dark so I'm just gonna scribble basically some of this area in here just to darken it a little bit more like that And wherever you think there'd be uh, folds in the petals, that type of thing, be darker. Let's put a little bit in here. I'm using a fairly uh, fine pen. This is a Copic um, 0.2. Just emphasizing some of these areas and you don't have to do all of the line. I like bits and pieces though, just so um kind of shows where things start and end. Especially uh, if you want to show a little bit more as far as the uh shadows are and I like a, a sketchy line too that's just me uh, you may not want to do this this is how you learn what you like by just doing having fun not all of them work out They're kind of fun to do. I like doing them. Sketchy. And then right in here where the stem would be, it would be fairly dark. So I'll just add some line work here on top of that dark area. So I know it's dark in here. And I'm following the... Uh, lines of the paint you can do that or you could follow the line of the um, existing lines that you had in there already from pencil and a lot of times too you'll find daffodils have a lot of uh, veins in their leaves. So you can put that in. They're very um, textured looking. Same with their buds.
I just like the look of it. I think it looks cool. All right. So there is our little daffodil with a little bit of color. Not much, but just a bit and some line work. It's a very simple, quick and easy, beginner easy daffodil. So I hope you'll give that a try and we'll talk to you later. See you on Thursday.